Hey everybody, welcome back to Huffler Garage. Today, with the warm weather coming back on us, we're gonna be needing to mow the grass soon. So we're gonna be working on our Briggs & Stratton lawnmower. Uh, we have to change the oil. We'll be replacing the oil filter, the fuel filter, the air filter, the spark plugs, as well as reattaching a muffler that fell off last year. If you come down with us here. So we have three liters of oil here, although it shouldn't take the whole three liters. Uh, this is the muffler that fell off last year, so we'll be reattaching that. We'll have two spark plugs here, our air filter, our oil filter, as well as our fuel filter. Join us back here in a moment, we'll get started. So guys, this is a piece of equipment that we got off eBay for $22 that we're going to be trying today. The uh, purpose of it is just to pump the oil out of the engine without having to undo the actual drain plug and that'll save us a little bit of trouble on something like this lawnmower or even something like an outboard motor or even an inboard motor on a boat and you can even use it on your vehicle it might help you from if you're having to get up underneath the car and your car that's super low to the ground it's supposed to pump about three liters per minute uh, so that should work about perfect for this mower today uh, we just we'll put this down in the engine which we'll show you all in a minute and it pumps it out through here. Got our new oil filter here. We'll put just a little bit of new oil around it. Around the gasket. And then just gonna put it right back on there. Do you want to clean some of the oil out from under it first? All right. And then just hand tighten it down. So to take the fuel filter off, the fuel line's right here, the fuel filter sits right there. I think usually it's actually supposed to be between these two clamps, but the fuel filter that someone had put on it before we got it, it um, it's too big. So hopefully putting the right one on there, it'll be able to fit back in there. You have to undo these two little clamps, which you just need a pair of pliers for, and then it'll come right out. Just uh, watch out for the gas that'll spill out.
right, so we got a 5 8 socket here. Uh, that'll undo the spark plug. The spark plugs are on this side here, and then another one on this side over there. We're just gonna remove them and put the new ones in, and we'll get back with you.